new thing where I vlog on my phone because I've been really bad at vlogging because I either forget my camera at home or I'm too embarrassed to take my my camera out to vlog because it's so obvious. It's like I'm just like holding this big camera and like people are staring at me. But maybe if I use my phone, I'll be less weird about it. Uh, I'm just gonna go run errands today. It's very windy. I don't know if you can see the bamboo swaying there. It's a very windy day today. And um, yeah, so uh, right now I'm taking the car I'm taking our other car which I'm not used to driving because like the tint is really dark for me um, and my car is not tinted that much and I'm not used to looking out these dark windows <laughs> also you know how it is when you drive a different car you're not used to it because like the windows are shaped differently and the mirrors are in different places and stuff like that so yeah hopefully I drive safely because I'm very scared um, but I'm gonna go pick up my birth control refill at Rite Aid and um, I'm gonna buy some ice cream because I love Rite Aid ice cream and then I'm going to go to the grocery store um, and come home and do some things around the house um, I don't know in what order I'm doing I think I'm gonna go to the grocery store first and then to Rite Aid because I want to get ice cream at Rite Aid and I don't want the ice cream to melt so yeah okay uh, yes I'm at Rite Aid and I'm kind of annoyed because they said I can't pick up my birth control prescription until five days before I'm out which that's really inconvenient because you have like a narrow time to like get your refill but I do have my ice cream so look at those clouds in the distance crazy <laughs> This is our like sign. It was road maintained by residents. And also, earlier I noticed this fucking potato on the road. <laughs> I'm like, why is there a potato on the road? Where is it? Oh god, am I not? There it is. I don't know why. It was there like earlier and it's still there. I don't know how it got there. Yeah, earlier Justin and I were driving home from the flea market and I was like, is that a potato? It, it's like a really big potato too. It's, it's probably like, hmm, I don't know how I could show you guys, but it's probably like six inches at least, maybe bigger. And it's like really wide. Um, and it also is like cut into a little bit, like, like somebody took a knife to it and now it's just like on the dirt road which is really random <laughs> I thought it was funny though but it earlier it looked kind of wet earlier now it's like a dry potato <laughs> okay uh, just got to the house to show you all what I bought I didn't buy that many groceries mostly we only needed like eggs we have everything else but Rite Aid didn't get birth control but I sure did get ice cream so I got pecan praline which I love I used to always get this after school when I was in high school I'd walk over to Rite Aid and buy that and then for some reason I've been craving rainbow sherbet so I got those two and at Stater Brothers which is our grocery store here um, bananas eggs which is what I came for um, mushrooms and then I bought these crescent rolls which I'm not usually a person that would buy something like this but um, I saw like a quick and easy like thing with hot dogs and crescent rolls to make um, uh, pigs in a blanket and I have a lot of frozen hot dogs in the fridge because we were going through like this phase of like constantly roasting hot dogs in our fire pit outside but we kind of got sick of them so now we have like a bunch of hot dogs that we have to eat <laughs> so I'm just trying to come up with different ways to eat them I got apples but they came out of the bag um, this bread you guys this is San Luis Obispo or no it's it's called San Luis sourdough but it's from San Luis Obispo if you guys can get this bread where you live try it it's like the best store-bought sourdough I've ever had. 
I'm talking about like at a chain grocery store, this is the best sourdough I've had. Really, really good stuff. And I bought some pastrami sandwich meat, um, tomatoes, sharp cheddar cheese. I love to eat sharp cheddar cheese with apples, so that's my snack. And I got frozen hash brown potatoes. Yeah, now I'm gonna put all this away, and I don't think you guys wanna see that, so yeah. So this is what I wore today. Um, these are Victoria's Secret yoga pants, Target sneakers with no socks, so no mock feet smell. And this is another Victoria's Secret tank top. Wow, I didn't realize I was wearing so much Victoria's Secret. It's because I buy shit when it's on sale, like during the semi-annual sale. So like this probably was like under $5 or something. And then a little bralette because I've been like not wearing bras lately but this is like a really thin shirt and like if I don't wear a bra y'all gonna see my nipples so wearing a bralette um yeah pretty simple here's our kitty hi so now I'm on my little handheld uh, point-and-shoot camera because my phone doesn't have any more room which sucks so I have to clean out my phone I guess because I'm sure there's just tons of like photos and videos and things like that that I can delete off of there but mostly I think it's because I have so many podcasts downloaded to it um yeah but anyways I'm getting hungry but it's not quite dinner time yet because it's only it's 4 40 it's not even five o'clock yet but I'm gonna snack on some watermelon with this stuff. I don't ever know if I'm saying it right, but I think it's tahine, tajin, tahine, I think. But it's fantastic on watermelon. I'm gonna eat this, watch some YouTube videos, and just chill with my cat. Right, kitty? Kitty. <laughs> Are watching? She's Lulu. Hi, huh, kitty. So it's not. Um, night time yet. It's only 5 o'clock, but I'm going to be home for the rest of the day, so I want to get my makeup off, um, just because it's better for my skin. And also, I've been getting, like, these pretty, like, this pimple right here is, like, really painful. I don't know if it's just the location, but I'm very lucky that I don't have a lot of blemishes, but when I do get them, they hurt really bad. Or maybe my, uh pain tolerance on my face is just really low um but I have like this one here and this one here and then I have other ones but they're not as bad but these two especially this one hurts so I'm gonna try and get my makeup off um I'm right now I'm using the Target brand makeup removal wipes but I really prefer the Kirkland brand which is like the generic Costco brand you can buy like five packs of them I think for like under $15 but um I think I bought these when I was like in Northern California or something. That's how I ended up with these. But typically, I prefer the Kirkland brand. Yeah. Um, these are just like kind of dry. I don't know. And like there's no texture on the wipe. It's just like flat. I like when it has like a little texture because then it really gets the makeup off. So, yeah. I know I'm probably being too... Uh, rough on my face but this is how I do it my face is red because I just waxed my eyebrows and my mustache it's not coming off of that red in the camera but it definitely it's red <laughs> also like I wax right here I don't know if anyone else does that but like I'm so hairy so my hair like continues from my eyebrow to like my hairline so I always wax that area so it's kind of red also my my light bulb went out <laughs> so Justin hopefully Justin has spare ones because that's gonna bother me um let me show you guys outside it's so windy Look how windy. Thanks. 
it's really cold it's been so hot lately but this is nice and refreshing okay so I just got a package in the mail and it should be my stickers so I ordered a bunch of stickers and by a bunch I mean a thousand of Ted Bundy because I'm starting a new project for my Etsy store for our Etsy store Justin and I um, so I order I custom ordered some stickers from a website hopefully they came out the way I want oh my god these are everything look these are fucking amazing so oh my god I can't even first I was like why are the why is this shipping so, so expensive like they charged me like I think almost $20 for shipping and I'm like how much does it take to ship uh, stickers from like literally LA which we live in like an hour and a half away from like can't be that much but it's because the box is so heavy but yeah they are fantastic these are like everything I've wanted with these they're exactly how I wanted them to come out I'm very excited so stay tuned for that because maybe I'll give away some some shit yeah I'm very excited Ted Bundy Okay, so we're back in the bathroom. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a shower, but before I shower, I want to put a face mask on so I can rinse it off in the shower. And I need to do an exfoliating mask because my face is beat. And I just need to get rid of the nasties. I'm about to look so good right now. So hot. Alright, I, I only have two exfoliating masks. I have this L'Oreal one, which I'm sure you guys have seen. Um, it's a pure clay mask. It's like this like pink clay. Um, this one is like a lot more gentle than the one I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one. This one's a lot cheaper too. So this one was like $12 or $13. This one was like literally $4. <laughs> um, this one is very abrasive though. So if you have like very sensitive skin, I wouldn't use this because... It's very abrasive. Um, yeah, it's a gel mask with charcoal in it. I have to start this mask with a wet face, so I just like do this. Um, and it's gonna look really gross when it's on my face because it's kind of like chunky and like I don't know. You'll see. So I just like exfoliate it. And it kind of hurts, but like my, my makeup looks so good the next day after I do this because my face is so smooth. So it, it comes out black, but when you rub it into your face, it's not that black. Hey guys, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna do the dishes and then get ready for bed and maybe watch a few YouTube videos. Um, and that's it. So thanks for watching. Um, you guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram um, if you want. Also, my Etsy store is linked down below. So yeah, uh, thanks for following me around today. Have a good one, guys. Bye.